In my last video, I made my own 3D printed electro spinner and I got it working and it works great, but I didn't actually do anything with it. I just made some fibers. So that's what this video is about. Today, I'm gonna try and make some sort of web shooter, kind of like Spider-Man's using my own electro spinner. I have a plan in my head, but I'm gonna get back to you with a much more detailed plan in a sec. So Spider-Man's web shooter is on his wrist, but putting my syringe pump somewhere on my forearm so that I can have webs shoot out of my wrist might be a bit too difficult. So what I'm thinking is designing some sort of wrist mount for the syringe needle itself and hooking up the syringe pump to the needle with a long tube. Then the syringe pump can be put elsewhere inside, say, a backpack with the high voltage power supply, and then I can walk around electrospinning things out of my wrist. Should be awesome. You might have noticed from last video that this design is different from the one in that one, and that's because I completely redesigned the entire shooter all in Rhino Grasshopper. That way the entire thing is completely parametric. Well, mostly parametric. There's quite a few glitches, but I have a working extruder with it. Now I'm going to use this to figure out what's the right electrospinning settings that I need, because in the last video I got it working, but I didn't test out the right settings. So I'm going to figure that out. Choosing the right material for my web shooter has proven to be a bit of an issue. Working with PCL and acetone has been giving me a lot of trouble, so I decided to move back to the polymer PVA or polyvinyl alcohol. Now, polyvinyl alcohol just so happens to be the main component in many glues, so it's a pretty sticky polymer, which makes it perfect for Spider-Man's web shooter. That being said, I'm gonna move on and work on the wrist mount for the web shooter, and I'll get back to you. Here's the current design of the wrist mount. All it really is is just a PLA bracelet with some holes for the tubing and a hole for the needle adapter. And that's kind of it. All right, let's give it a test. Oh, this is so sick. Wow. Wait, does it work? What the? Okay, I just gave it a shot and, and check this out. Check this out. Like, come on. How sick is that?
Alright, we're back. Now that I finished up working on the wrist mounts, and it seems to work in electrospin and actually form fibers, which is pretty sick. Now I've got to figure out how to make all this portable so I could run around the house shooting webs everywhere. It should be awesome. I'm not sure how I'm going to make this portable. I'm thinking about just cramming all this stuff into one of these boxes, putting it on my back, and then just running around with an extension cord attached. And that's my plan now, but I guess you guys will see what happens next. Riley here. It's been a few days and over the last few days I've been testing just to make sure that the backpack works and everything's working how it should. Now I think all that's left is to put this baby on my back and start shooting webs everywhere. Project done. This thing 
is wicked jank, but it works, and I'm super happy with this first attempt. I'm gonna probably attempt this in the future, but in the meantime, I'm gonna do some other projects. Until then, hopefully you enjoyed. Please feel free to leave some feedback, and I will see you guys in the next one.